Now I'm going to tell you how to make a connection between Firebase and your React Native application. So first of all, uh, I'm closing existing applications. So you can the terminal. You will need to open the existing application we have discussed earlier. The test app, and let me open it. So it will find the export project and <clears throat> okay. So basically, before get started for Firebase, you have to install the Firebase as well. So you need to use this command npm install Firebase to save. So I'm, uh, I already installed the Firebase on my application so maybe uh, I don't need to install it again so if you don't install so you have to install on your system before uh, work uh, uh, with Firebase okay so now it's already installed and uh, now let me open it my code which I have already uh, did some code for the Firebase. There's a few things like you need to mention this line a variable. Variable name will be Firebase or anything else you want to use, and require will be Firebase. This will only work once you will install npm install Firebase space hyphen hyphen space save so like let me write down this command npm install firebase okay so without it it will not work you have to install it now uh, the given code is same so you have to create a constructor for the uh, constructor uh, means you know what exactly mean it will constructor means it will automatically load once project is called okay so you don't need to uh, call any function or anything else in the constructor which you will specify or write down it will automatically call once this class will be called so when this class this uh, once we will uh, run this project it will automatically uh, call this constructor function and what we have written inside the constructor it will automatically call the constructor function so now i am going to call a super property super is a uh, there is a two uh, sub classes like uh, super class and subclass super means it will call all the properties of the extended components so you know test app is working here like a subclass it in it extends like a components so components are the base 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 class so you are extending all the components from the base class and we are using all the properties of the super class now here i have defined a variable name variable name anything you can use any kind of variable like firebase connection or you want to use avc etc like you can use any any name okay so after this variable name mentioned you can use a new variable for the create any object now I am using a firebase firebase is a name of this variable we are using here if you use usually here abc then you have to use abc here okay now I am going to undo this and then I'm using this line of code you can use this line of code I am going to tell you from where you can get this code uh, you need to open the firebase.com before and you can create your login here I which I have already created my login as well so you can create your application like you want to use Alex or you can see here uh, 
science and application or you can uh, any kind of application create native app okay so uh, this application will call react native app okay. so you don't need to use this native react native dot uh, this url is not available again i'm getting this error uh, you can use science and rn app so this is available science and rn is for react native or you can say react react native app okay now i'm going to create this application create new app once firebase has written successfully the application you can see here uh, this is the name of application and the url is this one you can open this url as well by clicking on this uh, you can see here science and react native app dot firebase io dot you can just copy this and go to this code and change this to the url which you have created for your application now i'm going to set the data from my react native application to firebase so this is your manual and this is very simple i'm going to teach you so later we can use a text input fields and buttons as well so we can add any information from text boxes to firebase directly while clicking on buttons as well so i can i will describe this in my next video as well so this is very simple way to add make a connection between react native to uh, firebase so here's a variable name we have created that will be connected to my application this application is created on our platform and this is a very public url but you can only see the data because uh, you have the credentials for your login and this is a variable and variable name i have mentioned and after that i'm using the set variable to use the to use to set the uh, data which i have to set like i can use first name and last name you can change any kind of name like i will mention here title uh, i can set here i can set here um profile view okay so this is a, a second name you want to use like uh, you can set here uh, anything you want to check like first name and this will be sunny and once you will uh, save it and then go to a simulator and you can use the command plus r button to reload the emulator and it's working but you don't see any alert because i'm not alerting anything or i'm not uh, uh, displaying anything because i just put everything in the constructor function it will automatically call once this class class will be loaded now i'm going to see here uh, you can see in the application so you can see here the first name and the sunny and the title will be profile view it is automatically set uh, if you want to delete it you can also delete it and uh, okay so like if you want to add many like you want to add last name here and okay you can you can try as well so you can refresh it control r and then go to the refresh it again to the live URL part, you will see the loaded data, first name, last name, and profile view. That's it. You can also create another data here, like you want to change Alex Zendra. Okay. So you can use anything else now uh, after the saving you need to refresh your inverter again 
then go to the live viewable part and refresh it again uh, you will see the another data alexandra tank profile but you can see here uh, it will replace the previous uh, data to the current data so in the next video i will describe you how you can add multiple data in firebase through your application from input box to uh, firebase and when you click on particular from any uh, any button and add any text to uh, text uh, any text in, in your text field so uh, later once you click on any button it will automatically hit any particular function in your code and that will set all the data dynamically to the firebase and once you will do this for this thing you the previous data will not replace it will automatically loaded by ids by id 1 id 2 id 3 okay so so this is the thing i have described i think this is very easy thing you can understand i think it's very easy to understand so how you can make connection between firebase and react maybe okay thank you